This Tech Talk video has been created to provide you with information and key points about the Oricom BabySense 7, the breathing movement monitor intended for use as an infant apnea alarm. The device is designed to continually monitor the breathing movement rate of a sleeping baby. An alarm is activated if your baby's breathing movement slows to a rate of less than 10 breaths per minute or cannot be detected for 20 seconds. It is very important that you read and follow the instructions in the user guide and use only as directed. Here are some key points. This product is designed for use with one infant only in the cot or bed. This product cannot be used in a co-sleeping environment as it may detect the breathing of the parent. The BabySense 7 is designed to be an aid for use with healthy infants up to 12 months of age and should not be used as a substitute for responsible and proper adult supervision of your baby. The BabySense 7 is included as a medical device on the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods. This product is a battery operated device. Batteries are not included. We suggest you purchase good quality alkaline batteries when you are ready to use the product. Ensure that the sensors are placed on a solid, firm base and then the mattress sits on top. Most mattresses are suitable for use with the BabySense 7, except for foam or memory foam type mattresses. Please ensure that the alarm can be heard in all locations throughout the home or place of care. The sound is loud, similar to that of a smoke alarm to ensure it wakes even the deepest of sleepers. Installation for newborn babies. Babies under the age of three months do not move from place to place while sleeping. Use only one sensor pad to ensure greater relative sensitivity. Make sure the sensor is placed underneath baby's location in crib. Insulation for babies three months to 12 months. Babies begin to crawl and become more mobile at the age of three months. Now is the time to add the second sensor pad and place the two sensors as instructed in the user guide. As the baby moves about in the crib, the two sensor pads will ensure that all the baby's movements are monitored. How to perform the daily tests of the baby sense seven. This function can be found in the user guide. It is very important to note that you do not conduct the performance test by picking up the baby out of the bed and waiting for the alarm to be sound. This will not properly simulate real life conditions. It is important to perform the daily performance test with the same conditions as in normal use, as when the baby is sleeping in the cot. A sensor pad should be plugged into the control unit and the control unit turned on. It is important to remember that the sensor pad is very sensitive and will pick up any air movement around the sensor pad. It is suggested for testing that all sources of possible air movement are removed. Close all the windows, turn off all fans and air conditioning that direct airflow towards the sleeping baby. Do not stand close to the unit when testing as it may detect your movement leave the room and in approximately 20 seconds you should hear the alarm. If the alarm does not sound then there is still movement being detected and you can confirm this by removing the sensor pad and turning on again. Please note this performance test must be conducted daily and every time you move the monitor, change bedding or relocate the bassinet or the cot in its position. Please review the daily performance test section of the manual in order to properly test that your device is functioning perfectly. Why does it have to be so sensitive? The amount of movement caused by a newborn baby is very small, and if the unit were not so sensitive, it would not detect this and go into alarm condition frequently. For the BabySense 7 to operate correctly, it requires a very quiet air movement and vibration environment. Some things that are known to cause erratic operation. Ceiling fans, when turned on. Try a pedestal fan with the rug if on hard floors. Air conditioning with airflow directed toward the cot or the bassinet. Vibrating source, like fridges or freezers in another room on a wooden suspended floor. Open windows. 
cot mobiles attached to the cot or battery operated toys that move. Parents standing beside the cot looking at unit, waiting for it to go into alarm condition. And of course, household pets or siblings. We need to remind you again to always read the user guide and use only as directed.